Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I have been asked, how do I change my Andy emulator's settings? As you can see on my screen at the moment, I do have Andy emulator up and there is no options on here to change any settings. That is because you need to change the settings in the Andy launcher. And to open this up, all you need to do is shut down Andy and press OK. And you now need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and you need to type in Andy. And straight away, you should see Andy launcher. And this is what we need to open. And once it is open, you will end up with a window that looks like this. And here we have my Andy virtual machine. You can in fact create multiple Andy virtual machines, but for now we are going to stick with just this one. You can now go to Andy options and in here is a massive list of options we can adjust. Straight away at the top you have high toolbar on start. You can even start Andy in full screen. We can do remote control video stream and remote control audio stream. This option here is one that I've been asked a few times now. How do you enable CPU core count on Andy emulator? What this means is how do you select a custom amount of cores for your CPU on Andy? Well, all you need to do is simply toggle this on. So it basically goes green. And now if we press done, and then go to VM options, we can now select our CPU cores. At the minute, I can only select four, but you might be able to select six or eight, depending on your processor. Also, whilst we're on this window, you can select the amount of RAM you want to use in your Android emulator. You can have, at the minute, I've got two gig, you could do four gig, you could do 8 gig. It just depends how much RAM you have in your machine. To work out how much RAM you want to use, all you need to do is open up your calculator. And once you have, you need to type in 1024, and that is 1 gig. And say you've got 8 gig, but you want to use 4 gig on your Andy emulator, you would then simply go times 4. And then that is the number you need to type into this box to give you 4 gig. Basically, 1024 is 1 gig. Okay, and then depending on how much you want to use, that is then what you need to times it by. Once you have done this, you need to press set. And we can now go done. If we then go back to Andy options, we can then also change the resolution of Andy if we want. And on the right hand side here, we have our virtual GPU, which there are three options you can choose from. Once you've selected the option you want, you can then go set. And that is pretty much it for the Andy options. Like I said, there are lots of options in here you can adjust to make Andy run a lot smoother. I hope this little tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.